ओके सो हाय एवरीवन गाइस आई होप टू हैव हिड योर बेस्ट इन द क्लाइंट एग्जामिनेशन एंड द डे फॉर विच यू वेयर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सो लॉन्ग फ्रॉम द सिक्स मंथ्स एंड वन ईयर और इवन सम ऑफ यू वेयर फ्रॉम द वन एंड हाफ ईयर इज ऑलरेडी पास्ड एंड नाउ यू हैव टू लुक फॉर योर रिजल्ट्स एंड द अदर एग्जामिनेशन व्हिच इंक्लूड योर एलेट स्लैट्स एम्बेसीज बीएचयू एंड एमएससीटी एंड ऑल अदर एग्जामिनेशन ओके so uh, today's session is today's session is regarding the analysis of the clat 2020 paper uh, so we have also requested the 2023 aspirants to join so that they can have the uh, experience of what was the paper and what you people did the mistake so i will not be speaking much but the, whatever is mentioned in the slide let's have an examination with the first slide finish so the first slide is so talking about some quotes that nobody is going to hit as hard as life but it's end hard how you can hit it so it's your duty guys to move keep on moving forward and forward whatever is the circumstances whether you get a good score after getting your uh, answer key today or whether you're not getting a good score whether you get a good score that is not the point the point is to move forward and think about your next examination that is you have a late you have phu uh, then you have the slat you have christ university then there are n number of other law colleges in which you can be, be, uh, get yourself registered okay guys so uh, the sentence of the movie that is sky coach is there sorry chichode is there that is tumhara result decide nahi karta ki tum loser ho ki nahi tumhari koshish decide karti hai hai na guys so everyone knows even you know that how much hard work you have done for the clat examination and now finally it's over now nothing can be done this is the most important thing guys ki ab kuch nahi ho sakta hai jo bhi hona tha wo 4 baje ho chuka hai the paper the omr has already been submitted and now in the next one and half hour you will be getting your uh, answer ki okay guys so let's analyze the clat 2022 paper next slide Finish next slide. Yeah. So first we will be understanding the overall paper, guys. Let's understand the overall paper. If we take into consideration CLAT twenty twenty, CLAT twenty twenty one, and then we will be comparing with CLAT twenty twenty two. So the overall paper, guys, it was a moderate paper. okay it was a you can consider it as a moderate paper because the paper was not tough definitely the paper was not tough neither you can clearly say that the paper was easy the passages were very short so it was a, not a very time consuming paper uh, you could easily complete the paper within the span of 22 uh, hours because only the legal uh, sorry only the english passages were long if you take into consideration the legal passages or the logical passages those were not as long as you generally get in your mocks okay so the legal passages were damn so small and the logical were also small only the english passages were lengthy but they were not of a very tough level the le difficulty level was very less so there is a point that is mentioned that the english and logical section would be fetching you more marks than the legal and current affairs section guys if your english and logical section went good then you are having higher probability of getting a better nlu that does not mean that you will not get any of the nlu or any nlu if your english and logical section went pretty better than other people you will be getting the top 5 nlu guys so the overall paper is moderate as compared to clat 2020 2021 it was on a easier side guys except the current affair which will be talking just now so next slide kanish now we will be discussing the section wise strategy the first is the english section the passages were definitely lengthy but those were very easy and it was according to the syllabus because you were asked the vocab you were asked the grammar the tone of the passage everything was asked guys okay now the mostly the type of question that was in the english section was the inference based question or the conclusion based question which was related to covid the first passage was about the covid definitely you will be getting a passage on covid then you were having a passage on fossil fuel then on the hate speech social media and its influence and cryptocurrency 
Now, if you see, guys, all this are something which was in news in the last six months. If you take hate speech, if you remember the Haridwar issue, social media and its influence is in the news from the last six months. Cryptocurrency is in too much in news. Fossil fuel and COVID is definitely from the three years. So what I want to show the class 2023 aspirants from here is that it, it is the this is the reason why we tell every time to read a lot of articles. You don't have to read a limited article. You have to read diversified article. This is the reason because you can see that it is social media, hate speech, cryptocurrency, all this type of passages were there. And most importantly, you have the vocab question, tone of the passages. This all question were there. Grammar was there in the English section. So overall English section difficulty level was not so much. It was a moderate for the English section. It was lengthy and the only section which would consume time because other section is not going to consume any time as compared to the mocks that you give guys. Current affair CLAT has played game as usual. Definitely CLAT will be taking into consideration one section um, like what, what they want. So the uh, the if we consider point number four and five that was a very common it was expected guys Russia Ukraine issue we had a separate class on it. Aspa, we had a separate class on it. Apart from that, if we consider, guys, what I noticed when I saw the paper was that the one-liners were headed together. So, if you take the passage of ISRO, definitely most of you have the push paper. If you take the passage of ISRO, there you will find that not a specific topic has been asked. That about the Gaganyan mission or about any Mangalyan mission. They have asked about everything related to issue in the last one year. That means, guys... GK today has played a role here that is a one liner has been subheaded all together under one head that is ISRO. Simil, then you have the there was a question on the drones rule and then the United Nations sustainable development. Current affair for every people it is the same guys. So don't feel that Mirako current affair may come marks. I have practiced so much. I have made eight copies of notes. I have made notes, I have made notes, I have made 30 in the current affair. Mein. Don't feel it is the same for everyone and always remember in the competition yesterday, day before yesterday, I have told you the same thing guys. Hoga for every people, for every 50,000, 60,000, 70,000 people, that will be the same thing. So current affair is if for everyone, it is the same. Next slide. So if you have did well in the English, you would be having a better probability of getting a good English. Logical passages were again short. It was talking about the assumption. It was talking about the main idea, contextual. The paper of the logical section was critical, you must say. Okay, if means if your critical reasoning is not good, you cannot solve the logical passages. Here also, guys, you see that all the topics were related to the last six to seven months, like the Russia Ukraine issue, fossil fuel, Madras High Court judgment is there, then POSCO is there, COVID impact is there, biodiversity is there. All these issues are some in some way or the other is in use in the last six months. And guys. So logical was also very bit, it was on an easier side if you can take, no, easier to moderate, not completely easier, few questions were of a very critical question, but you can consider them on the moderate side. Then you have the legal, the legal passages were very short guys, you must be thinking that it is written easy to infer, because if you had a very good inference power in the last, if you had developed a very good inference power in the last six months guys, you could have easily inferred the passages. Although the passages were something of a topic out of context. Now, no one was expecting special marriage act or bigamy, especially the seventh point. That is the monolism and dualism. That is international law. That is taught in the law school in the second year, third year. Okay, guys. United Nations laws. So, this was not expected. But if you see writ, right to religion and contract. This was an expected passage. Special marriage act and bigamy. Although they were not expected guys, but if you have a very good inference power, you can easily do it. Considering point number 6 and 7, the passages were little bit on a difficult side, but the questions were easy. So if you had very, uh, huh, if you have, if you had very critically examining the monolism dualism passage, then you could have solved the questions because the questions were on an easier side. The passage was on a difficult side definitely, but it was a uh, the overall legal section if you consider then you can get not that amount of uh, score that you were expecting from the legal section per particularly but leaving apart passage number six and seven that is united nation laws and the monolism and dualism passage you can have a good score in the legal also and the quant section guys there is a complaint that there is no quant di only case are there guys but the 
uh, but the paper was very doable. Okay, although the point, the passage number three was lengthy, the other two were okay. I am telling guys, uh, I, uh, after the CLAT examination, I contacted a lot of aspirants. The person who were not even supposed, not even getting 4 to 5 in the quant in the mocks, they had attempted around 10 to 11 questions and definitely the first two passages were very, very easy. The third passage was lengthy guys, but it is doable. So guys, I had been specially CLAT 2023 20, aspirant, listen this very carefully. And I had been telling you guys that at the end, previous CLAT Ganesh, at the end, it is the your quant which is which is going to play a big role. So you are whether going to GNLU, Jodhpur, or Bangalore will be decided your quant, guys. And this year, CLAT 2023, it is very clear that if you had attempted around 12 to 13 in quant, you are going to get a very good score because legal everyone will be getting the same score. Okay, in the legal section, everyone is going to get the same score. Logical and English, whoever had performed very well in the logical and English, they will be getting better NLU. Current affair is same for everyone. Some of might have, those who have practiced from GK today, they might have got something better than other. But quant will play a very big role, guys, again, once again, because the passages were very doable. The person who had a practice of giving lot of quant, who practiced quant, lot of practice questions, Definitely he will be getting good score because the quant were very easy guys. Although DI was not there, but, but the caselets was very was there. But like I gave you the example ki the aspirant who did not even attempted uh, uh, the quant section, they were they had attempted around eight to nine question, and those are correct also. Okay. So this is the whole section strategy. Logical and English will fetch you more marks as compared to current affair and legal. If you had done well in the logical and English, that is very good. You will be getting a good college and quant will play again a big role. Moving to the next slide, this is this slide guys, there is a warning for this slide, it is just on the first impression. So don't think that this is the only thing that you have to consider. This is just on the first impression after we had a conversation with all the aspirants who gave the CLAT. After I personally went through the question paper, I have I got the question paper just around uh, 4, 40, 4, 45. I went through the whole question paper and I discussed with the other admins and even with some faculty and after this this is just a first impression that we have that the attempt should be guys on a higher side of this paper because the paper was on a moderate level the paper was moderate to easy only a few questions living apart a few questions of current affair and legal you could have easily get it done for the other section guys so the attempt should be on a higher side safe attempt is 120 but accuracy plays a big role so even if your attempt is 90 100 that doesn't matter guys, if out of 190 your uh, attempt, is, your accuracy is good, you will be getting a NLU. So this is the general score is that is 75, 76.25 plus plus minus minus. This is a general score. That is a cutoff score below which the, that is the, you can say the Lakshman Rekha job. Lo bolte ho, na? That is the Lakshman Rekha 75 to 76.25. This is the Lakshman Rekha. Bangalore, you will be getting around 102. Top 3 is 90 to 94. GNLU Jodhpur is 90. Accordingly, you can calculate the other NLUs. Bangalore is around 102. Top 3 is 92 to 94. GNLU to and Jodhpur is around 90. Guys, this is just a first impression, but it has been calculated after a lot of uh, statistics, statistics and everything. Attempt should be your on a higher side, guys. This is just a first impression, but this is your attempt should be on a higher side. Because the paper was on a moderate to easier level except the current affair section. And the reason is everyone is on the same platform for the current affair. So for the other section, you have to get a good score, guys. Next slide. And I will be done. What next, guys? Elite. If you have filled the elite form, only seven days are left. Give your best. Give your best. The I give you the example of my friend who had got a rank of around uh, 5000 something in the CLAT examination and in the l he got a rank of 32. Okay guys, so those who are going to appear for the l examination, make it a point that CLAT ho gaya, aaj answer ki aaj raat mein. you will calculate and get to know whether you are getting any of the college or not. From tomorrow, today to chill karna hai, aaj bilkul chill karna hai. Kal se get it for done for the l SLAT, BHU, MSCT and other law colleges, whichever you were trying to do. Apart from this guys, we are every time there with you 
that to suggest you which private college also if you want to go to any private college we are also there for you also that which colleges you should go we will have a different session for it but now as of now focus on your elite slat bhu msc and every other examination that is coming next instead of thinking ki ab clat to ho gaya matlab ab to kuch nahi kar sakte hain remember this words ki ab nothing you can do for the clat examination it's already done guys so that was all from my side now i will be taking up the